This master plan was actually launched in America between 1913 and 1921, just about 100 years ago now. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. Notice the goal. All will worship Satan. Satan's master plan is to get you and me and every person on earth to worship him. Paul Warburg was the father of the Federal Reserve. He officially bears that name. Designed the Federal Reserve System November 1910. Wasn't even a U.S. citizen yet. Still a citizen of Germany. 1911 became a U.S. citizen and he was appointed member of the first Federal Reserve Board by President Woodrow Wilson. The master plan to control our economy was imported straight from Europe, what we tried to get away from. Admiral Chester Ward, former judge advocate of the U.S. Navy, was a CFR member for 16 years before resigning in disgust. He stated the main purpose of the Council on Foreign Relations is promoting the disarmament of U.S. sovereignty and national independence and submergence into an all-powerful one world government. First, we Americans are going to have to yield up some of our sovereignty. That's going to be, to many, a bitter pill. We need a system of enforceable world law, a democratic federal world government, well, join me. I, I'm glad to sit here at the right hand of Satan. I'm telling you, in this dark world where they control the media, they control the money, they control the school system, they control the political system, you better have something supernatural. You won't make it through this maze. We need a true biblical revival. One person truly walking with God, truly praying the effectual fervent prayer, in secret, God who controls the universe can hear the prayer of one person and say, I'm going to change the course of this ship. What am I telling you tonight? I am telling you that the dragon's master plan is being enacted not soon, not within a few years, but at this very moment.